So somebody asked me when I collect seeds from Honesty. This is Honesty. And you can see the seeds are in there. You can see them through. There's a seed there. There's a few in there. There's four in there. And basically, I wait till they're pretty dry. These still have moisture in them. These, see there's still yellow to it. This one is browning. So these honesty seeds are not ripe. So these seeds, however, are ripe. So I pull those and then literally just do that to re-sow those. And foxglove seeds, here's a foxglove. These seeds are ripe here. So if I do this, you'll see there's loads. See all those tiny, tiny seeds, the foxgloves, and I literally do that. So I pull it all off, munch it in my hand, and you can see all the seeds there, and I toss them. Same with these. They're seeds, they're not ripe all the way to the top, but you can see the seeds in my hand. You see right there, those are the seeds. So that's all I've been doing here along this section where earlier in the year you saw the valerian is, a lot of the valerian has already sown its seeds. Here you can see this valerian still has some of its seeds. And um, so it's self-sown. This whole section all the way along here is valerian and foxgloves and oxide daisies and honesty. And I'm trying to get the honesty. This was the first one that took. I sowed these seeds here um, two years ago because this is a biannual. So, so like foxgloves. That's a baby foxglove and that will be uh, flowering next year. Baby foxglove there. Let's see, are there any baby honesty here? I uh, can't see. There's baby columbines, baby oxide daisies, baby ash tree, lots of baby foxgloves. So I'm trying to get this one going. I'll go, we'll walk up here through the potting shed into the garden, past the lilies, and this purple stuff, which I absolutely love. And here's more foxglove, baby, ah, these are baby honesty. So these honesty will flower next year. That's a baby foxglove. So they're a biannual. But if we walk along here, here's more honesty. And some of these, see it's getting papery. And here, here we go, there's papery. So when it's papery like this, the seed head bursts open easily. And there are the seeds. So those are ripe, whoops, the wind's gonna blow them away. So they're ripe for sowing. And literally, I'm afraid I'm a really lazy gardener. And that's all I do. Um, I mean, I could, this is, yeah, this is about to pop. You can see, if you pr press, press it, you can see that pop open. And there are the seeds inside. Actually, that's slightly unripe because you can see the seed is kind of green, but it might still take. Let's see. Okay, this is very papery, listen. Okay. So I'm going to pull that off, open it up, and you can see those are the honesty seeds. And like I said, all I'm a very lazy gardener. I just do that and let them sow themselves where they will. These are some autumn stuff that are fabulous. I love these. And they go so well with these orange yolks with those heart-shaped leaves. So trying to get different colors coming through. And these are these kind of thistle-like things. This is about to bloom. I love this because I love the coppery of the leaves and this is about to bloom. So this is a hollyhock. Hollyhocks don't have much smell. 
and there, so there's lots of stuff in and out of here oh here's some honesty this is honesty that i sewed earlier i literally see here it's very ripe and there you can see there are the seeds those are very ripe seeds so being a lazy gardener what i do with something like this is i pull up the stem so now it's naked scrunch it in my hand to loosen everything up so there are all the little envelopes are opened and then I just go, woohoo! That's lazy gardening. And that's what I do a lot of. So I'm a very lazy gardener in that respect. But what I'm trying to make this whole bed into is a lazy gardener bed. So there'll be, you know, willow herb um, is that purple thing. But this way, I don't have to do anything for because everything will self-sew, all the biannuals, the foxgloves, the honesty, uh, things like that will just come back again and again and again. And it's just under the plum tree. So you can see plums are getting ripe. And I love these things. And see, I love the red of those. So the combination is, I want more and more of them. Look, and here is a red-tailed bumblebee. One of my favorites. I love their glossy red arses. Bumblebee arses, there's nothing like them. Soft, fluffy things. Anyway, he's a beautiful red-tailed bumblebee. She, actually. The lady ones are the big ones. And then this, oh, look at the honeybee. There's a honeybee oh. munching away. Oh, and I scared them both away. Shame on me. Anyway, that gives you a little bit about, as somebody asked, when is honesty seed ripe? And that's when it's ripe, that's what I do. And look, there he's back again. He, she is back again. Having um, his, her evening meal. I'm pretty sure it's a queen. But they're so beautiful. I love the um, uh, black, uh, the red bottomed bumblebee or red tailed bumblebee. So, and these evening primroses, they're another biannual as well. Yeah, really? How are you, Time? You beautiful kitty. Yes. And here you can see my um, black eyed Susans, which I love. They're all coming through. Wonderful. Some of them aren't flowering yet. These are yet to flower. They're waiting, they're thinking about it. Oh, but look, there's a flower head coming up right there. And being a lazy gardener, I love scabias and they're a wild flower. This one is self-sown, so it's allowed to do its thing. Even though it's in an awkward place for the rest of the bed, I don't mind. My beds are pseudo chaotic. What can I say? But I do love this red clematis. It's something I planted last year and it seems to be coming along really, really well. I'm really happy with it. All that growth is this year. So another couple of years and hopefully it'll be good. And beautiful red. Oh, 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 oh. Are you about to climb up on me? You're bold, you're bold. And you're so pretty and pink, surrounded by pink. The cat literally is hanging on to me. Can you just not hang on to me? I'm glad I have this vest on. There, undo. Yes. You just need it. You're just looking for attention. That's all. You're hanging on for attention. Grabbing on. Look at that. Claws and all. Yes, kitty. Okay, can I, you let go? Thank you very much. There we go. Anyway. The main question was about honesty and how do I tell when the seeds are ready for sowing? And hopefully I've answered that question. Right, Inca? Newbie girl. Yeah.